Hey everybody, welcome back to Ori and the Blind Forest. Last time, we went through the Misty Woods, which was kind of a maze-like area, but now, we end up saying that we literally never need to return here, and we, we won't. But we also got the Climb, which if we can show it off anywhere... Oh, well, it, it's not really a great place to show it off. But we can now cling to walls, which... Oh, that's not even a wall. Is this a wall? Look, we can cling to walls now, that's all you need to know. And uh, we got the Gumon Seal, I... Basically, giving, getting rid of the mist in the woods. So now it's just the woods. I, I mean, there's still mist. You can see in the background. They're still... I'm dead. <laughs> Did you see what happened there? The fucking, um... The frog, um... Just, like, blasted him. That was amazing. You, oh. You, you betrayed your own kind. For that, you must die. Traitors. Anyway, uh, we got the Goomon Seal, which allows us to get into the Forlorn Ruins. Which will let us light the water, the wind element, not the water element. We already did the water element. So now we're just heading there. We need to go down to do that. So we go that way now. That's tough. Um, we can try to climb off here. As exciting as it is. Woo, climbing! Yeah, we can do that now. It's it's pretty exciting. Map fragment over here. Map stone fragment. Okay. That was a good shot, man. Like you, you predicted where I was going to go and everything. And okay, I really need to be, you know, not dying. At this point, because that would be pretty great. You though, you need to be dying, and there's uh, some energy down there. What upgrades do we even have left to get? I wonder. Uh, cause I don't remember these things. Um, not anything amazing. Triple jump's cool, but it's not really necessary, obviously, because well, it, uh, I just I just dashed right into that. that. Was cool. It's not really necessary. Obviously, it's an upgrade. It's just a cool little movement upgrade. Um, whoa! Why did that shoot out? I've never seen that happen, but that was awesome! Okay. Um, I'm not sure when that might ever have any use, but that's still really cool. I don't know if that would have hurt an enemy if I did that. I don't know if you could, um... Redirect projectiles by stomping, but apparently you can. Uh, we can't get whatever's up there now, so I'm not really gonna worry about it. This, I believe, just opens a door over there. I'm not sure exactly where that leads. I think it just leads back to... Um, to this area of the world. I think the Hollow Grove, is that it? Or the Sunken Glades? So, no one, nowhere really important. However, up here, I believe, there's an upgrade. So, we need to dash off you, and there we go. And ability dead. <laughs> ability cell. Got these crows. Uh, so now we have, we're one step close to another upgrade, which is super helpful. Stomp here, break that. Uh, okay, I was gonna say, there might be spikes down here, might not want to stop, but no. So these guys, I don't think we've really, really encountered these guys yet. Uh, or if we have, we haven't had to use them for puzzle solving purposes. So you just launch them and they can break these, oh, you're dead. But they can break these, uh, like green glowing walls we're seeing. Are you gonna spawn? Tell you what, we'll get to you later. For, of course you do. Um, for now, we can throw this light burst over here. Have it bounce down, light that lantern, and down below us. There's, I think that's an energy cell. It's really hard to tell with all the bloom and lighting around it, <laughs> but I think it's an energy cell. So, launch you into there, and we just need one more, because there's another green wall a bit later on, so please spawn, friend. Friend, are you gonna... That's a bit... Oh, you have to be a certain distance away. Okay, that's kind of weird, but whatever. Anyway, dash over here, wait for him to come on by, and shoot him up, and nice shot. Okay. Usually you miss that shot a couple times, because it's kind of difficult to get it. Uh, but then, of course, I just missed the jump, so whatever. Anyway, this is where the map stone fragment goes. And that gives us a map of the Valley of the Wind. We're not that far from our destination, so... Hopefully be there by this episode, maybe we'll even sort of the, the element of wind. Anyway, another ability cell, so we can go ahead and save and get an upgrade. Um... I guess we'll just get triple jump, honestly, like... Oh, that's actually super helpful considering how fucking reckless I'm being. Okay, we'll get triple jump. So now we have three jumps in the air, which is kind of insane. I really love the effect it gives off this, like, giant wave. Pass that, I mean, it's just helpful, basically. I don't really have much else to say about it. Also, those guys can never die. Wow, okay. Luckily, I saved right here, but that was a really big explosion. Way bigger than I would have expected. So that means... Can I kill you in any way? No, but I can dunk at you, which is a thing. Just please fuck off. Actually, you know what I can do? I can launch you down here to kill that enemy. There we go. Now I don't have to deal with either of you. Now everyone is dead. 
I don't think I mentioned it, but I love how smoothly or <laughs> Oh that poor fucker! <laughs> he tried so hard and he just jumped into spikes and died. Holy fuck. Okay, that was fantastic. I love how smoothly Ori transitions into areas. Like, we were just in, like, a kind of cavey area, now we're in an ice area, and it tr transitions so smoothly. We're not supposed to be able to open that yet, by the way, I don't think, but, um... We did it, so whatever. You need to die. Again, love the stomp uh, dash combo. It's just so effective against everything. Every enemy is just kind of demolished by it. Uh, I don't think there's anything to do on here quite yet. Oh, you spawn. They get to die again and give me more spirit energy. Nice. So now that the spiders are now shooting three energy, in, uh, three energy, three shots, I guess we'll just call them, instead of just the standard one. Or did they start shooting two at some point? I don't know. Look, I don't, I don't pay attention to these things. But we can climb up here. I don't think we can um, break this yet. Not that it really matters. There's nothing important back there. Um, just some health. So I'm guessing, I think we get there later. So not really going to worry about that right now. Just dash over here. And I think it's an upgrade this way? Maybe not. You shoot something down that I can burst off of? Maybe not. Either. Well, oh, the, he made ice... Ice pickles, I was about to say. Kind of like icicles, but like... Ice, like ice pickles. You get the idea, I think. Alright, so we've entered the Forlorn Ruins now. Apparently this place was once a great forest, and now it's just frozen over. So the Goomon are, uh... Well, they're all gone. Grimoire was the last of its kind. Well, for now, all we can do is explore the area. So, up here is an upgrade. And when I was kept talking about an area that you could basically shatter in half with the light burst, this is the area I was talking about. So this object is interesting. It gives us this little field, and so long as we're in this field, we can walk over these red glowing areas, one without getting hurt, because if we take if we let it off, it'll hurt us. Um, but picking it up not only allows us to not get hurt by them, but walk along them. Kinda like Mario Galaxy style. That's how you were supposed to get that, that upgrade at the start. Um, but instead you could just light burst. And that goes for basically the entire area. You can get through this area without needing this at all. Uh, however, I should have let it go. Um, however, I really, really like this area. I think it's one of the most creative and fun areas in the entire game with some of the puzzles you have to do along with this thing. Not only just the general platforming and how cool it is to walk on the ceiling, of course, but there's some really awesome puzzles later. All of which can be circumvented with light bursts. And well, that's fun to do in its own right, I kind of think it's more fun to do it this way, personally, and also I just kind of want to show the area off as was intended, instead of, you know, destroying it. Maybe if we ever have to go back through, through, at, back, back, oh fuck. Back here for an upgrade, I'll do that. You know what, actually, for times like this, I will do that. I'll show you exactly what you can do to just destroy the thing. When we're kind of backtracking, because I'm, I'm an idiot and died. Also, yeah, one thing I don't like about Ori is it can't just sit these cutscenes again. They're not very, very long most of the time, but still. Anyway, I'll save here just to make sure. And yeah, so I think this one you kind of have to throw two and then burst up because I don't think you can get enough height otherwise. But yeah, if you're crafty enough, you really can just shatter the area in half. This one requires a bit of good timing. Oh, you need two. You need two and good timing. Okay, this is actually pretty difficult. All right. Throw. Throw. Burst, burst, and done. For this, we just have to give it a light throw. 
And the uh, ball will follow you as well, just like the... Oh, there's something else. The Atsu's torch, I think, would have... No, 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 the The thing in the Black Group Burrows, that thing, would kind of follow you around as well. But yeah, I don't really want to do that for most of this area because it is creative and fun. And I kind of want to do it as intended, but for times like that, I want to show off as well the other way you can solve this, this area. So as I said, as long as you're in that field, you will not be hurt by them. And I think you can also technically walk on the, um, the stuff, but it's not really likely that you will have to, um, in that case. Or, like, walk along surfaces and, and go sideways or whatever, but you wouldn't really have to. Um... So you, you can technically let it go and then hop along those areas, or those structures. Uh, but I wouldn't recommend it. So I think we were supposed to... I've always done that with Light Burst. I honestly don't know how you were supposed to get that otherwise. I think you can do a tricky burst off of this projectile that thing is firing and get it, but it's pretty difficult. Um, I just use a Light Burst to get it because it's significantly easier. Oop, okay, almost with that jump. So I love the music in here. It's kind of haunting, given, you know, the entire Gumon race is dead. It's kind of fitting. So this, we have to let go, and... Oh, okay, really? Son of a bitch. Alright, let's try that again. We have a triple jump, so we don't have to worry about that. Alright. Um, so now we have to wait for this platform to come over here. Hop on that. And keep hold of this. And... Oh, I thought that was going to hurt me for a second. Like, oh, shit. It kind of does look spiky, doesn't it? Oh, can I make this jump? Can I make this one? Okay, we're good. So, here's what I'm talking about when you have some really cool puzzles. So, what we need to do here is... I mentioned that you can just let it go and hop off. No! 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 <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, God, how did I do this again? I don't remember now. Well, first off, we need to hop onto here. Oh, I see. No, we don't need to let it go. What we need to do is since we... When you're jumping, you're not actually affected by the magnetiz magnetization effect. Uh, we need to jump off like this and guide ourselves back over there. So we need to keep our magnetization from the last stone and then hop to the next one, which is super cool. Also, I think I did this wrong. So I think if I jump off here, I'm going to die. Uh, kind of. That was weird. Whatever. Maps are fragment. And a place I can save and be safe. This gives us a map of the Forlorn Ruins. Save there, because... Had a near life death, that knife, knife death experience, sort of. I mean, if you consider icicles, ice pickles, death, or knives, you know what? Whatever. Um, you know what I mean. I'm gonna fall. Whatever. It's not that far of a fall. Let's hop back up here, and we need to continue going left. I think with light burst, you can see this long passageway here. I think you could technically go the other way, but I'm honestly not sure how beneficial that would be to do at all. So I'm just not even gonna bother trying. Uh, I want to get the save point, both for the warp point and just to save. And come along with me, I still kind of need you. It's sad the animation kind of made me drop that, but whatever. And going through here compared to going through the, um... I, I like this area a lot more than the, um... What was it called? The Ginso Tree? Because the Ginso Tree was cool, and it had the portal thing. So, you know what? Actually, both of them are awesome. I personally like this more. Um, just I think the idea is cooler, though I kind of like that you can't break the Ginso tree in half. That's mostly just because you don't have the Light Burst yet, though. If you had the Light Burst, you could easily break that in half. Um, because you could just skip all the portals. But I think this is a little bit more interesting than just, you know, appearing in, uh, on another part of the map. I think this is a bit cooler and more interactive. Oh my, we need to jump through this pit of spikes. Uh, uh, okay, that's really tight. We need to do some tight maneuvering. Oh boy, this. I remember, I died so many times with this fucking thing. Okay, so this is laser. Pretty sure it's instant kill. Jump off now. Jump. Okay. No! Oof. Okay, how am I supposed to break this in half? I'm sure I can. Is there like a little area I can stand on here? I don't think so. I think this part you actually will have to use it. Because there's not really a safe ground over here, and there's, like, maybe barely one here with this little, like, ridge here. Yeah. And I can't even save here. And I can't even use Light Burst. It's not letting me do anything here. Because, oh, I can use Light Burst. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, let's try this again. Whew, what's the best way? I guess jump now and... Oh, wow, I missed the jump. I guess we could jump a little bit earlier here. And hopefully now I hit... Whoa! Okay! <laughs> Alright, well that worked. Um... Sure, we'll go with it. I can't stay in this position much longer, so we need to kind of let go of the thing. Um, we need to... Can you get down here, please, Fend? Thank you. Jump here. Now we need to very carefully time the... No! No, I didn't do it! I didn't do it! I... <sighs> Shit. Is there anything up there? I don't... Mm. I don't know. It might be. Oh, well, it's just this. Okay, well, that's cool, I guess. Whatever, we got all four of the door keys, so we can just go ahead and open this. And I don't actually remember what the rest of this area is. This is an area that's kind of slipped my mind. So Grimma's entering the ruins. Soon I'll find out about what happened to everyone. Sign, are you gonna... Oh, pick this up. Oh, okay, we have to put... Okay, that was weird. Whatever. I thought someone was going to talk to us or something there. Gumo. Well, let's restore light to the force for him at least. Camping back was lost, but we can at least give him a happy rest of his life. Might not count for much, but it's something. Oh boy, this mm, this is hard. Okay, so we need to. Be very careful. I think I'm safe here. At least I hope I am. Dash over here. And I'm pretty sure you can get killed by standing on top of this from the right laser. So you just be very quick. Yeah, that laser can just kind of nip you there. Kind of terrible. So I think to the left here. Uh, possibly? Oh boy. Make it, make it! Oi! Okay, we're good. <laughs> we need to wait a second. Because these lasers are going to destroy me. Uh, I think there's something up here. I think there might be. Uh, hopefully this is progress. Okay, to the right then. <laughs> Damn it. I had that nerve-wracking spirit. Fuck! Alright, okay. Well, be careful of the lasers first. Before we head back up. I wonder if I can just triple jump to the... I can't. Okay. However, I can... Do this and hopefully not die. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna save here just in case... Because I don't feel safe at all. And that's probably why! Okay. Just slide down slowly. Because there's a lot more lasers where that came from. And this literally just leads to... Oh, leads to an energy cell. Or a life cell. That's, a, that's even better, actually. And then some stuff. Otherwise. Alright, that's light burst up to get some height. And then just die. Okay. Light burst was really kind of pointless to do. So we're just going to do that. Dash. Hopefully make it. Alright. We're good then. Let's wait for this laser. I'm not. I'm just gonna take my time, rekindle that, and then jump over here. Hopefully, just make it without having to worry about the lasers. All right, we're all set then to continue. <sighs> that was a stressful area. Luckily, they don't go too far in this area without the gravity gimmick, because like, I'm kind of glad half the area isn't gravity cool gimmick, and then the other half isn't just here's some lasers. I'm glad that's a very short idea, because they kind of did everything they could have with it in. Like, one or two rooms, and it's really fun. Anyway, sign. what do you got to say?
All right, the place is falling apart because Gumo took out the seal. So we have to escape via the wind. And while I found, did I die? Okay, I'm good. Well, I found the um, the Ginso tree escape to be exhilarating and beautiful. I find this to be exhilarating and tense. And there's a difference. The difference is I don't find this as fun as oh, I drifted too high up. I don't find this as fun. Whereas the Ginso tree I thought was difficult completely in a fair way. Um, this, uh, I mean, this part of it is, is fine, obviously, and the music, oh my god. Okay, see, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> sort of stuff like that. No, but that area, I died so many times because like, I couldn't figure out what I needed to do. The, um, the things that fell from the ceiling broke the floor below us, but I couldn't tell that happened. And maybe I'm just an idiot. That, that's very possible, but... Um, it's, as far as I'm concerned, this trial, not as far as I'm concerned, in my experiences, that is, um, this area is kind of a good bit of trial and error. It's not just like react and play well like the Ginso tree was, which was far more preferable to me. It's you have to kind of memorize what's coming and know what's coming and be prepared for it. And that's simply not as fun to me. Like we have to know this wind is coming. This is sort of a visual indication, but with all the other chaos going on, like I couldn't tell that was coming. There's effects in the background, there's everything. Then we have this section here with all this ice falling. And then you have to know to get into this, okay. <laughs> into that little alcove and even then it was hard for me to do but luckily it's pretty short so even if it's trial and error you don't have to memorize that much it's really only two sections but i spent so long there i didn't feel like it was really fair but anyway music is beautiful scenery is beautiful of course oh wait, what do you expect but here we are pure dog's nest
All right. And I have to escape from Kudo. If we come out of cover, she will start tracking us. And if we take too much time, well, let's just say the result. Maybe not that great. Yeah, we just sort of die. So, sort of a stealth section. We have to get behind cover. We have to be in this water. And it's pretty tense. The music doesn't... Well, it helps with that, but... Doesn't make it any more, uh... What's the word? Well, it helps. It helps with the tone and the atmosphere. That's that's the point I'm trying to... Okay, we, we should kill the spider. Actually, we need the spider. We need to get up here quick. Oh, no. Get back. Okay. Ooh, she was close. Okay. Up, up, boy. Up, up, up. Okay. We need your shot to break the tree. And then... Okay, that kills you anyway. The tree, thankfully, gives us some cover. Whew, okay. Um... Do we need you? Yes, we do. Please get down here. You fucking Sonic the Hedgehog idiot! Okay. Launch you over there. Break the wall. Quickly get over. Um, and we need to hop down here. Thankfully, this log will give us some cover as well. We can move that over here. Slowly, quietly. Oh! Jump through here and try and escape as fast as possible. Alright, okay. Can't get us now. Well, I feel bad for Kudo, I really do, but we don't really have a choice, you know. Saving everyone in the bell, everything in the bell, has to take priority, no matter what might happen to Kudo and her child. Anyway, we can destroy this rock with uh, light burst, by the way, or charged flame, so. We can still go back there if we need to. And did we 100% full in ruins? We did not. We missed a couple things. Um, we missed that because I didn't go back and get it. Tell you what, I'm gonna do that now. Um, except I actually. It's not a warp point. Tell you what, we'll do it later. I probably won't remember we did it on screen already, but it's not a big deal. Whatever. Anyway. So, with the element of winds of sword, this fucker needs to die again. <laughs> oh, memories. Uh, the winds are now restored. We can ride the winds with uh, Kuro's feather, which is awesome. Um, again, another big incremental change to the world, like the water being restored. And it allows us to access new areas and gain items more easily than with having to use a light burst or use enemies in a tricky way or something. So it's awesome. I love it. Anyway, that's going to be it. We restored the element of winds and learned why Kudo is attacking us and took the light from the spirit tree. Uh, well, we have a mission and we have to go through with it either way. And we'll continue to do so next time by heading to the Sunstone Pass, or Sorrow Pass, to get the Sunstone. See you guys then. <laughs>